Hey everyone, this is Terry. If you own PE Design 11 and you want to use digital cutting files for a silhouette machine, this video is for you. I own the Cameo Silhouette Designer Edition Plus as well as the Business Edition. I don't have the Business Edition on my laptop because when you get these licenses, you get it for two computers. So we use the Business Edition on our two Macs, my husband and I. The Designer Edition Plus gives you some features that are not in the Basic Silhouette software and are not in the Designer Edition of Silhouette and that includes the ability to read embroidery files. So you'll see, we'll go to File Open, and you'll see that you have the ability to open up a multitude of files, including the studio files from the Silhouette software. And then you can also read SVG, PDF, D DXF, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, and bitmap files, and others. But here are the embroidery files. So this is where you see the DST, EXP, which is used by Berninas, JEF, PES, XXX, and GSD. And you'll notice other files here. Now one that you don't see is Brothers FCM. So keep that in mind. What we'll do is we'll go back over to the PE Design software. We'll choose Cancel. And we'll go back to PE Design. And let's just say that we want to take this little snowflake, because it's snowing, I guess, for some of you. Maybe this is a jack instead of a snowflake. But anyway, let's say that you want to create an applique of this. So while it's selected, I'll just go into the applique wizard and let's leave the applique material, position, tack down, covering stitch, and use replace, and we'll choose OK. Um, this is fairly close together, so what I'll do is stretch out the design and by the way, since this is a shape right now, you can see shape up here, I can do that. I don't have to hold down the control key to resize a shape because a shape is essentially an object. All right, let's talk about how to save it. Normally, I would save this as a PES file and open it up into the Silhouette software. I found out my Silhouette software is not reading the PES 10 or PES 11 files. So if I go to File Save As, you can save as multiple versions of files. And one of the things I found out that it was shutting down my software. So, and by my software, I was talking about my Silhouette software. So what, what I did is I went ahead and, and saved it and Again, I'll call this a snowflake, but I think it's a jack, and um, so I'll, I'll name it and save it so I have it for later uh, whenever I want to sew it out on my sewing machine. So it's 3.47 by 3.35, and I just do that so that I have the information. I know the size of it that I designed it in, and I'll choose save. Once you save it, it becomes a, a stitch file that, if, and particularly if you open it, right now I'm still looking at the shape because I have not closed this file down and reopened it. Okay, the next thing you would do in order to open it up over on the Silhouette side, because I told you that if I try to open it up on Silhouette, it will shut down my Silhouette software, and I'll show you that. So we'll go over to Silhouette, and I'll choose File Open. And the first thing I'm going to show you is it can read PES files, 
But you'll notice like this file was created in 2016 by Anita Good Design. So whatever version of a PES that they use, it can open that file and it opens it fine. But it will lock up whenever I try to open the file I just saved. So to show you that, let's just close this tab and we don't want to save it. One of the nice things about the Silhouette software is you can have multiple tabs open as you're working. Now let's try to go in and open up the file that I just saved. So we'll go to my designs and I believe I called it a snowflake and here we go. And what you're going to see if it reacts like the other files have, it had an error and it has to quit. So I'm going to let it go on and quit, but while we're talking, I'll go ahead and start this software up again and I'll go back into the PES software. So the workaround for that is to go ahead and save the file as a machine file, and by that I mean a DST file, or another format. So to do that, all I have to do is go File, Export, and when you choose Export, you'll notice that you can save it in these formats. Now, it will read the XXX and it will read the EXP. What I've done is I've used the DST and we'll just go ahead and save it as that and we'll choose save. We'll now go back to the Silhouette software and we'll choose file open and we'll go down and locate the file and here's the DST file and we'll choose OK. Now when this file opens I'll just click on it and drag the layers away from one another. So you'll see that there are three layers here and the first layer on top is the layer for the satin stitch and I know I don't need this satin stitch so I'll just go ahead and right click and delete it and I'm de deleting this uh, and I'll save this as a studio file so I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm deleting it from my design so don't worry about that the next thing I'll do is I'll select each of these objects because I want to see what size it is. You notice that the design itself was 3.47 by 3.35. So let's select this one. This is 3.35 by 3.47. So this is roughly the same size of that design and then this one is smaller. So what I want to do is to go ahead and I'm selecting the larger of the two, but I, what I would recommend that you do is you create a sample like this and you stitch it out and you decide whether you want to use the placement stitch or the cut line for it. Now you can resize these and adjust them if you want, and you would want to do that proportionately. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll more than likely use this one. But I will cut both of them for my test. And to do that, all I need to do is go to Send. Because it reads it as a cut file, you'll see that there are already cut lines around it. So if you go to the Silhouette website, one of the things you can do is see what a comparison is between their license agreements, meaning if you want to buy the designer edition, it's another $50. Their regular uh, basic edition is free, and it has lots of tools. But if you go purchase the designer edition, it's $50, and with that, 
you get the ability to use the pick scan mat and then most importantly the import SVG and PDF files. If you buy the Designer Edition Plus, which is $75, you have the ability to use the PES, DST, EXP files, plus you have some other features. And one of the other nice features on the Designer Edition is the Rhinestone, and I've used that quite a bit. The Business Edition, whoops, let's go back into it. The business edition is a hundred dollars. And by the way, once you buy one, like you invest forty-nine dollars into the designer edition, and you want to go to the business edition, you only pay the difference. You don't pay another ninety-nine dollars. So these are incremental amounts. And once you pay that price you get a code and then all you have to do is enter that code and it activates these features that you see here. So the, the business edition has the export SVG which is really nice so you can save that and then it has several other tools that are tools that uh, many people might want to use if they're cutting a lot of vinyl, for instance, the weed line feature, and then also the ability to import Adobe files. So I hope that this information has been helpful to you. As always, please give me some feedback, and thanks for your time today. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them. That way you'll know when new videos come out. And in addition to that, please share them with your friends and have a great day. Thank you.